Hello everybody and welcome back to Jade Empire and look at that view looks kind of nice taking into consideration the graphics of the time all right back on track uh, last time I left off after fighting a couple of things meeting Ga uh, not go Kang the Mad and saving those two people we uh, we met in the at the beginning of Tien's landing, and now it's time to go to the workshop, see what awaits us. All right, here we go. Saving that's not a good sign. Leaping tiger. <laughs> Okay, got a little lucky there. I put them both together and Look this at that flyer. It's beautiful. The Marvelous Dragonfly is the perfect name. Yeah, I already saw it. It was downstairs, hanging up. Alright, like I was saying, I got a little bit lucky here. I managed to put these two together. That horse thing, if you hit it, it burns you, so you take damage. So it's not nice to have something else besides you. Maybe beating on you. And when it uh, dies, it explodes, so if you... Caught it, it uh, did a lot of damage to the other guy. Alright, time to loot. And we'll start from this door. Alright, a lot of money. Here's a scroll. Configuration of the horse. What is that? Is the technique? No. Right, where is it? Kill, no, that's not that. Oh, here's all, all the stats. Lot items? Oh, here we go. All of the quest items, I guess. What's this? Okay. All right, I remember now. We're gonna get a bunch of uh, configurations like this, and we need uh, iron, this thing, I think there are a couple others, and we combine them and we receive something, I don't remember exactly what. I think they're techniques. Alright, anything else? Oh, uh, more bad guys. Leaping tiger! Ow. Focus. Okay, this is not looking good at my stats. Alright, where I did I live, live off? Alright, nothing here. Bookcase or book stand. And I think I can open this door somehow. How do I do that? 
Maybe use the dragonfly. Nothing around here. Can't interact with anything. How do I open? The scroll stand, we already read that. Oh, here we go. I guess the weapons on that flyer were active. That's certainly one way to take care of a door. Gesundheit. Right, and here we have a big elephant demon. That's not good. I don't think I have the stats to beat it. Let's save. By stats I mean health, chi and focus, I have very little. But let's see how this goes. Some sort of magic binds this demon. I never expected Gao the Greater to be so powerful. This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed! Uh, who are you? Or what are you? I am Xian Shi, the great elephant demon. Gao's infernal magic summoned me and bound me here to guard this room. The penalty for all who enter is death. Gao's power compels me. I must destroy you! Okay, good luck with that. Oh, that was not good. Focus. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, and I'm back for round two. This time I am a uh, full health. And as you previously saw. That guy does a lot of damage, and hopefully this time I'm gonna be a little better. Let's see. Some sort of. This I already know all this. The leaping tiger. Come on, attack. Focus. There we go. Alright, time to loot this place. Chest, where is it? Over here. Gem of Frail Scholar. What's that? Uh, no thanks. Getting a lot of money. Okay, I still got hurt, however. And I guess this is it. Not much. Might go and uh, get myself a heal. Though I don't think I'm gonna need it for the next fight, but... I'll save here and... Uh, if I need to, I'll go. Yeah, next fight is the big bad go. Let's see how this one goes. What do we have here? And this is... We'll find out, find out later. 
All right, let's fight these guys. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for it. Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you. You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you were the one who killed my son Gao. Uh, no, I'm not. It was the other student. Uh, okay, these two work. But which one to say? Oh, let's go with the first one. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer. Gao was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you! school my gao was never good enough for master li you were always his prize pupil and now my son is gao may be gone but i will avenge him i know the styles your broken old master taught you and i know how to beat them i promise your death will be both slow and painful leaping tiger <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Heal, heal. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. Alright, that was a tough fight. Forgot he does a lot of damage. Alright, he's dead. Why does it matter? Uh, let's go with the first one. It matters because he deserved to die by my hands. No, that's not right. I should be thanking you. Besides, after I left you, I stumbled across something just as important. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? And I also saw you free some of them. True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. Okay, that's horrible. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, 
I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gal. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. All right, I've seen similar evidence. Is that so? There can be no doubt then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. I kind of agree with that. All right, it'll be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. Hey, what is it? Hey, that's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. I don't know if I trust this man, but we can't afford to turn away potential allies, not with what lies ahead. Your companion's ability to judge character is matched only by her beauty. I may not be the most constant of men, but I am true. All right, glad to have you aboard. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. Oh, so that's what that does. All right, let's loot around here. And this is what we needed for that quest in Tien's Landing. Oh, now you evade. Strength of wood. Right, what is that? Health plus two. Okay. And nothing else. All right, let's get out of here. And I think we're gonna leave with the uh, well, with the dragonfly, and this is gonna be one of those uh, aerial missions. But it's gonna be very nice. And around here, nothing. At least I don't remember. Kicking and such, it really gets the blood flowing and explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those too. I replace the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. Uh, you mean like the one we got from the dam? Let's say this. Oh, the assassins have an inscrutable power source. In fact, they had two. One was here, and they planned to put it in the dragonfly. But Kang was fast and smart. Kang exploded the power source. That way, they couldn't take my beautiful dragonfly and fly away without me. All right, and everything uh, else that's left is just this. <laughs> what wonders cling to you, my friend. 
There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. And that's reassuring. Wait, what about Rue? Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. Your friend will see us take off and he'll head back to town on his own. Okay, I think I've got everything in this region. I don't think we can come back here, but I have saves, so... Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! Alright. Shrieking Fury. I think those are missiles. Homing missiles. They'll attack, of course. Here we go. All right, I want to test out my missiles. Okay, a bit of a loud sound at uh, the end, but... Right, load, come on. flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. Yeah, how do you control it from a distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen,
He can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. Okay, I didn't understand a thing. Okay, I'll speak with you in a Uh, and after this, what do we do now? Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. Wait, what? Isn't that a question addressed to everybody? I'm trying to feel good about what happened at Gao's fortress, the lair of his pirates. We went looking for our master and perhaps another flyer, but we found... I was not prepared for how cruel people could be. Seeing those people with no control over their fates, it is similar to a pain in my past that I have not thought about for a long time. Okay, you don't speak much about your life. I would not dream of saying my experience is similar to those poor people in Gao's fortress, but that lack of control I know that well. One of the only things I know about myself is that on the morning I was born the sky was red, like distant mountains were on fire. Perhaps it was dirge burning, as Zoo said. I believe it was an ill omen, and that stigma is why my abilities became a burden. That's why I must have been left at the school. To be subject to the whims of someone else just because of what you are, be you slave or outsider. Yes. I know that well. Okay, let's say this one. Yes, you are an outsider too, albeit one with power to change your world. I think the slaves in the pirate layer would greatly appreciate your skill in defense. And I would make great use of your confidence. You inspire me to think of the possibilities, not just the problems. I'm gaining an appreciation for the person you are becoming. Perhaps we should speak on these matters again sometime. Uh, no. I don't really want to start a relationship with her. Alright, goodbye for now. Be well, my friend. Alright, this guy has something to say. Something's on your mind? Uh, do you have a minute to talk? Of course. I was just thinking about things. Gal richly deserved his death, but I'm not sure I ever really expected it to happen. And why do I have to click continue? He's speaking English. The hell? Long way of searching for him. <sighs> Three years. Three long years of tracing these slavers to their master, only to find that there were more above him. Consolation lies in finding others who share my goals. I didn't expect to be lucky enough to find a friend in this place. Uh, how did you track him? Gao's slavers took my daughter, Pin Mei, and I was able to follow them. Fortunately, they didn't cover their tracks. I chased them down, trying to reach her. I was too late. Pin Mei was spirited, and I'm sure she fought them. I believe they decided she was too much trouble and killed her. Five years old, and they ran her through. I found her dead by the roadside and stopped my pursuit. By the time I cared to continue my chase, the slavers were long gone. It's fine. Thank you for your concern, but for the most part, I've come to terms with her death. But why dwell on this? Gao is dead, and perhaps Pin Mei has found some peace. That's what really matters. That and what we still have to accomplish. Uh, you still haven't told me how you found Gao. We'll talk about Gao later. 
We have much to do, and none of it will be accomplished if we stand here hashing over the past. Alright, uh, this one he just talks about the area, that's it. Always happy to help. Still don't know why you have to click continue on him, but... Alright, I'm gonna have to talk to everybody maybe in the next episode. Uh, for this one, I think I'm gonna end it here. And the next one, well, talking to everybody, see if they have anything special. I think Kang the Mad has something. And then, well... Let me look at the map. I have to go over here. I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, I don't think I have enough for these. Then Minister Shang, and then maybe we'll enter the forest if we have enough time. We'll probably do, but... Okay, for now, this is it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what I do. Maybe share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, and... Have a nice day.